Some great songs have been written about boating, but the one thing they never seem to mention is seasickness. So if you're on the Sloop John B, you of course want to ride Captain Ride. And the last thing you want to do is rock the boat, baby. Now, if you come sail away on your love boat, you certainly don't need to be like the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. But now there's one innovation that could make it so you never want to be sitting on the dock of the bay. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Did anyone under the age of 50 get any of those references? If only the water was this tranquil every time you went boating. But that's not reality. There's a reason why don't rock the boat is an expression for upsetting things, right? This is a basic human experience that's uncomfortable. And if you can solve that problem, that's a big deal. That's exciting. Avid boat lovers, Shepard McKenney and engineer John Adams set out together to solve the problem of boats rocking when the waves are rolling. What they created is a stabilizing gyroscope called Seakeeper, designed specifically for use on boats greater than 27 feet long. The relatively lightweight sphere is placed on or in a boat, and they say it can reduce boat roll by up to 95%. Can you see the difference here between one boat that has a gyro and the other that does not? Inside the sphere is a high strength steel flywheel, the motor that drives it, and the bearings that support it. Our fastest flywheel spins at 10,000 revolutions per minute. And all the air inside the sphere has been evacuated out. I met Shep and John at their factory in Moton to perhaps do some boating. Can you explain to me how does it work? What's going on inside? These four corners are mounted to the structure of the boat. And when this flywheel is spinning at a high rate of speed and the boat starts to roll, the flywheel senses that motion and it wants to tilt or process in a fore and aft direction. Oh, so OK. So if we were on a boat, the boat might be rocking this way. And meanwhile, the gyro is going this way. That's right. It goes at 90 degrees to the direction it was disturbed. Their gyroscope combines a number of technologies to make an old idea viable today. You look at this thing and you say, it's just a spinning flywheel in a containment. It is such a technical task to get it to do what it does. The gyros are built and prepared for installation here in Pennsylvania. The most interesting part of this is these hydraulic cylinders. Mm -hmm and they are computer controlled to regulate that procession motion to keep it in phase with the rolling motions of the boat. The open water was calling, so we met up on their boat at a nearby lake to sample the technology. We started at the dock with human-made rocking. I'm no engineer, but I can tell that this is not very steady. <laughs> <laughs> so call it. OK. Engage, gyro. No way. That is just bonkers. <laughs> Look at this, you guys are still going. You can't do it. Even though it was a calm lake, we tried to make some waves anyway. So we're going to just make some waves, and then we're going to shut them off, essentially. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh, how are we not rocking? I mean, I realize that that's a complex answer involving physics and engineering, but that is nice. 